Good morning, super cool party people. It is Saturday, July 22nd, and it's just after 10. Thought about getting up early today, but I was up so late last night playing board games and stuff that I just didn't think it was worth it. So, I don't know what's up with my voice right now. <sighs> Too much talking yesterday, maybe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get up and start starting the day, I guess. So, I was just sitting here watching over my vlog footage from yesterday, yes, that's what it was. And I talked about a weird dream I had about vegetables, but I just, it made me remember a weird dream I had last night where the Barefoot Contessa was in it, and we were friends, I think, but we were like starting to fight about some sort of secret sauce recipe, and it was so weird, like, she was sending people after me to hurt me over a sauce recipe. Who has dreams like that? Who? It's not like I'm a good cook, not good enough to have dreams like that, so. Yeah, I just thought that was really weird. Anyways, I am uploading the vlog from yesterday right now, and then I'll probably put on real people's clothes. As opposed to the fake people's clothes I'm wearing right now. Just my pajamas. Yeah, that's it for now. Every time I vlog, I am just in bed because this is my life, I guess. Oh, um, but I'm really tired, which is weird. I slept pretty well last night, but it's like 3 p.m. and I could really go for a nap, which I might do. But um, also, I think I should clean up my room. We have people coming over tonight. Um, usually every Friday night, we play Dungeons and Dragons in this household. Um, but nobody can make it last night, so we're having it tonight, and it's a necromancer's birthday party also, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we're doing, like, oh, we'll get a cake, also for, like, my birthday yesterday and another friend's birthday coming up, and hot dogs and chips, so it'll be enjoyable. Um, but I'm really tired, so I feel like I should nap prior to that, because sometimes we go really late with the sessions. Um, but also, like... I just, there's, just, it's just, there's just stuff everywhere, I feel. So, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. No, the correct decision is to sleep. But the smart decision is to clean. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll just Netflix and chill by myself. Hmm. Good evening. It is just after 10. We just finished up Dungeons and Dragons for the evening. Um, everybody's going home or getting driven home or driving people home. Um, I'm no longer a werewolf, so that's enjoyable. But, you know, I just wanted to show the carnage. I know I didn't really vlog today, but it's weird because I don't know how they feel about being on film. So we're just not going to film them for now. Um, but, you know, we got a bit of carnage. This is actually not too bad. <laughs> Um, and the table. I did, we cleaned up, well I cleaned up a bit and when people leave they take their stuff. But yeah, so that's a bit of the carnage from the evening of Dungeons and Dragons. And I figure while we're here for my birthday I got some sets of dye and they're super cute because, oh dear, I'm like a princess. So I got the really cute ones. So, I have these pink ones. Well, it's beauty vlogger that. There we go. So they're pink and they're shiny. 
and they're pretty neat. Um, I got some blue ones that are very similar. So they are blue and shiny. They got like little star galaxy like insides. I got purple ones that match. Are you seeing a theme? Um, I know they look a little blue here, but they're definitely purple compared to those. Um, I got these green ones and oh my goodness, do these ones roll great. They are light green and gold Borealis Chessic set. Um, I rolled, I think, six times and I crit it four of those times, which was super inconvenient for everybody involved because I was a werewolf at the time. Almost killed the cleric trying to save me, but not quite. Um, then I got these ones. Oh, you can't really see. Oh, there we go. These ones. Nope. Come on, friend. Come on. Let's see if I do this. Can you see those? Can you see them? How about now? Wow, you do not want to focus on these guys. There you go. There you go. How about now? How about now? How about now? Oh my goodness. There, there we go. They are frosted blue, which I think is pretty cool. They roll really weird too. They like do like a thump at the end. Great way to describe it, I know. Um, then I also got them in frosted in pink because, come on, you focus there, focus there. Uh, frosted in pink because I really like pink. I would say pink is probably my favorite color. Again, they do like the weird roll drop thing. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe I'll show you it. Um, and then I think you might be able to see these ones. And I want a really different set. Come on. I'm bad at this beauty vlogging thing. Here, there we go. Um, so it's like clear but with blue all throughout it, which. I think it's pretty neat. It's like my backup set, the D20, and this is pretty good. So if I need a good one, that's what we go for. But I'll see if I can demonstrate the weird roll that these, that I feel these do. Where is it? Eh? Are you gonna focus? Oh no, you rolled all the way over there. Oh no, it's not really, it pulls. What I'm saying is it pulls, but I wanna see if my D20 on my green set will crit because it's a good one. All right, buddy, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure, no pressure. And what is it? Oh, it's an 11. It would have been pretty awesome if it crit it, but whatever. So yeah, I'm no longer a werewolf which is nice. Um, no one in our party is werewolves or snakes anymore because that's what started this whole situation. Um, we, we played tonight. We normally play Friday nights. Um, so it was a bit weird. I'm throwing off because it should be Saturday tomorrow, but it's Sunday tomorrow. Um, but... We're gonna continue on the beast lens next week, I guess. Um, but we have made new characters. My character's name in this one is Salantithius. Um, and he's a Thrycreen because we decided let's go to Dark Sun. And if you don't know what Dark Sun is, which probably most people are watching this, if they don't if they don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, wouldn't know because I didn't know until I started playing. Dark Sun is where you go with people you hate so they all die, basically, apparently. I don't know, I've never played it. Um, I'm very new to the Dungeons and Dragons scene. Um, I'll probably like, I don't know, well, why not talk about it right now? Do, do, do. So, growing up, like, uh, not like when I was super young, I didn't know like anything about Dungeons and Dragons because I didn't really hear about it, it wasn't in like our thing that we did. We were video gamers. We were Nintendo nerds. That was kind of the, the vein that we fell into. And then my brother started to know friends who played like magic cards, which we also never got into. My brother's five years older than me, but very similar likes and experiences, I guess. Um, and then 
his now wife was into magic cards. I, I still don't know if he ever played it, but we used to make fun of her all the time about it. And like we made fun of Dungeons and Dragons too. And then I don't know what happened, but him and his friends decided to start playing Dungeons and Dragons. I was not around. I was living in Vancouver at the time. And my brother came over to visit me one time because he's like, I'm DMing and I'm making a campaign and I need your help writing this. So we wrote a campaign together. I think it was called The Rise of Orcus. And it was pretty alright, I think, for our first effort. Then time went on. We made another one called Doppel Dungeon, um, which is actually available online to purchase. So I'll try to find the link for that. It's um, a pay what you want, so free or whatever. Uh, there's also one called Wayberry University that would be in the same area. I'll try to find the link. That one's free. I don't know what it's about. I didn't help write it. Um, and then I think we started writing this one called Too Old to Die Young. It's a much larger one. I think it's about 80 pages long. It's crazy expansive. I It's so interesting because I hadn't played Dungeons and Dragons at the time when we were doing it. So any of the stats and stuff, I was so confused. I'm like, I don't get this. What's what, 2d8? Like even now the mechanics of the game, I'm like, mm, but I'm really good at the role playing. So <laughs> get lots of inspiration points. Um, but yeah, so we wrote Too Old to Die Young. And like, again, the story and the ideas, I got that. But anything mechanical about the actual game, I was like, I don't know what this is about. So we wrote that one and they ended up playing through it. That one's also available to purchase. I will try to find the link for that. Um, it's actually a you have to pay money for it. Um, <laughs> but it's it's 80 pages long and I think it's quite worth it. I think, I don't know. I liked it. It was a cool story. I, I haven't played it though, obviously. Um, and then at Christmas time, no, in January this year, I came back for a visit and I happened to be here in Dungeons and Dragons night. So they, and I think they were playing Spelljammer. So uh, my brother rolled me a character and I played with them. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing because it was on Pathfinder as well. Um, I think 3.5, I want to say. I could be wrong though. Yeah. Um, and then when I moved back recently, we rolled me a character and I just fell into their weekly game. So we're playing fifth edition now, which is so much easier. Like I still, like I said, half the time I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, but at least it makes more sense to me. <laughs> um, and if nothing else, I just role play really well because I can't play play very well. I don't know. I don't know some last session, not like today, but the other one. So yeah. So now apparently I play Dungeons and Dragons, which is not as nerdy as I thought it would be. It's kind of fun, um, but yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess once you start playing it, it's kind of cooler than you thought. I have a friend who plays actively, and so now that I play and she plays, we can like nerd out about it. And now that I play, I've met a lot more people who are like, oh, I really want to play Dungeons and Dragons, so that's kind of neat at least. But. I feel like I've been rambling for literally almost 10 minutes. Like, look at my dice, look at this mess. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna go. Probably won't, obviously I didn't vlog much today because like I said, it's during the week, everybody's at work, so it's fine. I can do whatever and vlog. Um, on the weekend though, they're off because they have real jobs. So basically like anytime after four, I don't really vlog <laughs> during the week. And then on the weekends, try not to vlog with them at least. Tomorrow we'll see I have stuff to do so I won't be in the house so there won't be an issue so I can just vlog 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 vlog. Um, but yeah, didn't get any writing done today. I slept till like 10, we went grocery shopping and then we ate hot dogs and played Dungeons and Dragons because it was a necromancer's birthday party. As it is on Saturdays. Anyways, on that note I think I'm going to head off for the evening and I'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, and one last thing about Dungeons and Dragons before I go. At one point, five fully grown adults all got into the bathtub just to see if all our characters could have fit in the bathtub to take the portal to the Beastlands, obviously.